Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about creating methods in Java. Now, a method is basically just a block of Java code that we can use to perform a specific task or a specific function. And generally, you're going to take a bunch of Java code, you're going to put it inside of a Java method, and then we'll be able to call that method and execute all the code that's inside of it. Now, another word for method is function. So if you've ever, you know, use a different programming language, sometimes methods are referred to functions. But for our case, you can call these either methods or functions and, you know, you're basically going to be on the right track. So I'm going to show you guys how we can create a method in Java and then we'll use it to, for example, like say hi to a user. So over here in my Java file, you'll notice that I have a couple things here. Up here, this says public class app. And this is basically just the name of our, you know, like Java program. And then down here we have this thing, public static void main. And this is actually, believe it or not, a method in Java. And this is a very special method in Java. So this is a method which gets called, in other words, the code inside of this method gets executed when we start our Java program. So that's what makes this method special. But in addition to this method, we can also create other methods inside of this Java file. So I'm going to make a couple new lines and we're going to come down here and you'll notice here I'm out of the bounds of this public static void main method. So I want to create another method. I'm going to put a bunch of code inside of here and then you'll see we'll be able to call that method and access all the code inside of it from up here in our main method. So the way that we can create a method is a little bit complex and I'm going to be using some keywords here. Uh, you'll see they get highlighted in purple that you might not fully understand and that's okay for right now. As we go throughout this course, we're going to figure out what all of this stuff means. But for now, I'm going to be using some certain keywords that you guys might not understand. So just know that it's okay and you can just type out whatever I'm typing out and it should work. So I'm going to type down here, public static void. And now what I want to do is I want to type out the name of the method that I want to create. So I'm going to give this method a name. Let's make a method that just says hi to the user. So I'm going to make a method called say hi. So I can type out the name of the method and then I want to type out an open and closed parentheses and then an open and closed curly bracket. So now what we have is the basic skeleton for a method. And like I said, you know, public static void, this is sort of a little bit beyond what we're going to learn about right now. I just want to talk to you guys about creating methods, but just know that if you put this here, then everything should be fine. Now inside of this method, I can type out some code. And when I call the method, that code will get executed. So in here, I'm just going to put out, put some code. We'll say system dot out dot print line. And we're just going to print out and we'll basically just say hi to the user. So we can say, Hello, and why don't we say hi to me? So we'll say, hello, Mike. So we're saying hi to Mike. Now what I can actually do is I can call this method. So up here inside of my main method, and remember, this is the method that gets executed when our Java file runs. I can just call this method. So I can just go here and I can say, say hi, and then make an open and close parentheses and a semicolon. And now what's going to happen is when Java sees this line of code, it's going to come down here to this say hi method and it's going to execute all of the code inside of this method. So why don't we come over here and we'll run this program and you'll see it just says hello Mike. So it's executing all of the code inside of that function. And I just want to illustrate what's happening here. So I'm going to add in some more print statements just so we can kind of really wrap our heads around how this works. I'll add in a print statement up here and a print statement up here. And so I'm just going to say right here, top, and we'll say over here, bottom. And I want to show you guys how this ends up printing out to the screen. So what's going to happen is Java is going to come. It's going to say, okay, system dot that print line. It's going to print top. Then it's going to go to this say hi function. It's going to print out hello, Mike, and then it's going to come back out and it's going to print out bottom. And so this will kind of illustrate how the flow of the program works with these functions. So I'm going to click play and you'll see here we're printing out exactly that. So top and then it comes over here, executes the method and then it prints out bottom. So really the flow of this program is we're executing this first line. 
when we call the function, we jump over to the function and we execute any code that's in here. So if I put like another line of code in here and we could say like, hello, Tom, this would now execute both of those lines of code before it executes bottom. So when you call a function, you're basically telling your program to jump over to that function, execute all the code in there, then come back and you move on to the next line in the program. So that's kind of the flow of functions. And that's really like the basics, right? I can just take all my code, put it inside of its own function. But I wanna show you guys some more stuff we can do with these functions. And one thing we can do is give this function some information. So right now inside of this public static void say hi function, and actually I just realized I'm saying function instead of method. So again, you can say function or method. Those two words are kind of like synonymous. I've just been jumping around to different programming languages, so I'm kind of more used to saying function, but these can be called methods or functions. So inside of this say hi method, I'm just printing out hello Mike. But let's say that I wanted to be able to give this method some information. So I wanted to tell this method who I wanted to say hi to. We can use something called a parameter. And a parameter is basically just a piece of information that you give to the function. So I have this say hi function right here. I can actually give it some information. And the way that we do that is by just coming over here into these parentheses. And we wanna define a value that this method is going to take in, okay? So I'm gonna define a value and you basically define it just like you would define a variable. So in our case, we wanna take in a string, which is gonna be the name that we wanna print out. So I can just say string name. And basically what this is doing is it's telling Java that this method should take in one value. It needs to be given one piece of information, which is a string called name. So now when I call this method over here, I have to give it a string. So I have to pass in a piece of information. So I could just pass in, for example, like a name, we could pass in like Dave. And what we can do is down here inside of our method, we can actually access this name variable. So I could come down here and say, hello, name. So now, depending on the value that we pass in here, that's what's gonna get printed out. So let's go ahead and run this program and you'll see what happens. So over here it says, hello, Dave. So let me make a couple more of these methods. So I'm just gonna copy this and we'll just say hi to a bunch of different people. So we could say hi to Dave, Phyllis, and Angela. And so now three separate times, I'm gonna say hi to different people. So I'll run this function and it says, hello, Dave, hello, Phyllis, Hello, Angela. So I was able to give the method specific information and depending on the information that I gave it, it printed out a different name. So if you wanted, you could also pass variables into here. So I can just say string my name is equal to Mike, because that's my name. And then I could just pass in my name into here and it's gonna work exactly the same. In addition to just passing in one value, we could also pass in multiple values. So let's say that in addition to saying hi to the user, I also wanted to print out their name. So I wanted to give this method two pieces of information that it can use to say hi to the user. If I want, then I can come down here and in addition to specifying that we need a name, I could also specify that we needed an int called age. So now this method is taking in two parameters. And so when we call the method, we need to pass it two parameters. So why don't we just do this once? We'll pass it my name, and then we'll also pass it an age. So we could say like 47. So now I'm passing it two pieces of information. And then down here, we can just modify our print statement. So I can say, hello, name, you, you are, and now we can just say the age, so age. So now I'm able to use both of these pieces of information to modify this method. So when we come over here now, it's gonna say, hello, Mike, you are 47. So I could modify you know, either of these values. I could say, instead of 47, we could say like 20, and we can make the name Toby. And you'll see that everything works the same. So now it's saying hi to Toby, who is 20. 
So that's basically how you can pass information into methods and methods are gonna be extremely useful. Like there's so many different things that we can use methods for. And basically anytime you have specific code that's performing a specific task, you wanna put it inside of a method. And you know, I could put as many lines of code in here as I wanted. I mean, obviously I'm just creating a simple method, but you could make a, a huge, you know, long method and it'll perform a specific task. But a general rule of thumb is anytime you have a collection of code that's doing something that's, you know, has a function or that's performing a task, you want to put it inside of a method and that way you can just access it by the name of the method and you can give it specific information. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.